Welcome to the show, Alain. Maybe you can introduce yourself briefly to the people. Yes, I'm uh, Alain Van Lietteyeude. I am a Regional Managing Director for rent to kill in uh, Latin America and Europe. And uh, within SIPA, I am uh, a board member as well as a treasurer of, uh, of SIPA. For how many years, by the way? You've been working with SIPA all the way, right? Um, uh, since I joined uh, Rentacube Pest Control in 2006, I also immediately joined the, uh, the association, yes, uh, because I do believe that we have a task and we have uh, uh, an obligation toward the future to, and a responsibility to protect uh, our world and therefore you need people around the industry striving for the best of the industry and the environment. I think for people that make room of their private time for over a decade uh, in behalf of Europe's pest control industry, I can say thank you uh, and please keep on. <laughs> but Alain, uh, for today, we wanted to speak about uh, SIPA and bring to the audience and enlighten what is SIPA. So in your own words, could you describe everybody what is SIPA and what value does it bring to the, internet, uh, to the international, but most and foremost, of course, European pest managers? Well, SIPA is a, an organization, it's in fact an association of, uh, of people, of members, of companies that strive for a better world within our industry, which is the pest control industry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, applying the proper practices uh, with trained people and making sure that everything which we are undertaking within the industry to protect our customers, to protect people, to protect infrastructure is done the, the best way uh, toward uh, the future and our, our world. So SIPA is mainly Europe, European focused, and I know SIPA does a lot for the industry, uh, you know, be service provider, distributor, stakeholder, food industry, pharmaceutical companies that use pest controllers. Um, so a lot of involved in these areas, but also internationally, right? So there's association uh, networks uh, to, I don't know, Australia, Asia, China, and also MPMA in, in North America, right? Yes, that's correct, yes. Yeah, and currently SIPA highlights a lot the MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding, which is basically a piece of paper that says how we should professionally perform pest control and which companies and stakeholders can sign, right? So most and foremost, IPM is highlighted in this MOU. So can you explain why always IPM? What's so important about IPM? Yes, um, IPM stands for Integrated Pest Management. Um, Usually people believe that pest control is about uh, catching mice, rats, cockroaches. Uh, in fact, pest control is, try, is trying to avoid to catch mice, cockroaches, insects, but to, to have a preventive program to make sure you don't have any any pest within your environment. So it, it, this IPM uh, is, uh, is advising, is consulting, is guiding everybody who needs it to make sure that you don't have pests within your environment. So it tries to avoid uh, uh, any infestation. That is the basic idea of IPM and you have many possibilities to do that. Uh, you might have holes in your wall, you might have windows which are broken, you might have uh, ceilings which are not properly closed, which are all entry uh, uh, opportunities for pests into your environment. IPM is making sure that all practices are applied to avoid as much as possible uh, to get infestation of any pests within your own environments. So it has nothing to do with chemicals, it has nothing to do with spraying. IPM is all about uh, how do you make sure that you don't get pissed within your environment. That's the basic idea of IPM. <laughs> Thanks. That's one of the best summary of, uh, summaries I think I've heard about IPM. So that's that's gonna that's gonna be very informative about uh, for everybody that's seeing this. So uh, everybody uh, looking, uh, uh, return the video a little bit and listen to it again because this is really important. Um, I think you know a lot of people always uh, think about the IPM pyramid, right? So it's a pyramid I, I remember um, with various stages like hygiene and you know as you said yeah. taking care of the building, then yeah. physical, biological control, and then I think chemical control. Is that correct? 
that's entirely culture correct. So it starts with basic things. For example, in a kitchen environment, you have many opportunities for, for pests to, to be attracted because uh, there is food on the floor. Uh, during the night, you, st you keep food on the tables. Your bins are not closed, for example. Fruit can attract insects. So um, that a basic idea to avoid, for example, mice or rodents or cockroaches or insects, you should have your, your bin always closed so they don't have access to it. You should not leave food on the table on, or yeah. on the floor because it's attracting uh, pests. So th that's where the idea is. Start with very basic things. You can do a lot to avoid uh, pests in your environment. However, if once you have pests in your environment, then we are moving it to another stage. We need to deal with the pest infestation, which is first to remove the source of the... Why do we have an infestation? We go back again to IPM, but we, we at the same time, we make sure that as fast as possible, those, that infestation is uh, moved away uh, through a most effective and environmental friendly uh, solution. Awesome. And I think um, what is interesting and what a lot of people don't know is that uh, IPM applies to everything from farm to fork. So you have a former, you have a producer, you have a logistics center, you have a shopkeeper, you know, a supermarket, and you would have a McDonald's cafe, anything. So IPM is a stretch through all of this. It's not only here or there, it's everywhere, right? No, you are right. IPM starts... Um at the beginning of the food chain and hands of the food chain. And it covers the whole chain from production up, including consumption and all the waste. Um, you cannot just apply IPM on one phase of the whole food chain. You need to apply it from the very first beginning until the very first end. Uh, otherwise, it is not going to work. That's why we, in the industry, we are always looking to all the possible uh, to the whole journey of food from production until the consumption and the waste of, uh, of uh, food. So, Alain, how in a few sentences would you describe the benefit of stakeholders, industry stakeholders, etc., members of SIPA, the benefit of signing this MOU? What does this MOU bring as a value to everybody that, sh that should sign it? And we want, SIPA wants many, many people to sign it. So, in a few sentences, what do you think? would be yeah. key value. I'm asked many times that question and I'm always using an example, an analogy to another industry to make people understand why it is so important. And I'm going into the, uh, the medical world because everybody around the world knows how important it is when you have an illness that you are treated through a trained professional who we call a doctor. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that when you are seriously sick or you have an illness, you have to go to the doctor and only the doctor can make the right diagnosis and prescribe uh, antibiotics. No one else can prescribe antibiotics because you have a professional in front of you. Gotcha trained, that has studied, and that knows exactly based on the diagnosis that he, he or she has done, what kind of medicine should I provide to my patient. In pest control, it is exactly the same. Many people believe that pest control, as I said in the beginning, is about catching mice, rats, and cockroaches or insects. No, pest control starts with proper guiding, proper consulting, proper advice in avoiding any pest within your environment. That can only be done through trained professionals. Mm -hmm. The behavior of, of pest is a, of, is a complex given. These are, it's not human, but these are animals and they are living, living animals. So you need to be aware of their behavior. You need to have been trained to know how they move, what they are looking for, what they are they attracted for. It's not very easy to attract cockroaches, mice, insects. And many people believe it's an easy task. It is not. 
means if you want to do it professionally then you 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 need really to be trained and you need to be kept updated if you would say well i just throw some chemicals and the uh, infestation will go away you can do that once two times three times but you are building a huge problem toward the future and toward your your uh, the, the 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 world because at one point in time there will be no effect anymore, just like the misabuse or the abuse of antibiotics. It's exactly the same. Exactly. So we use as least as possible chemicals uh, and only use chemicals whenever it is really necessary and there is no other option anymore. And then we will use them very temporarily um, uh, for, for, for staying effective. Mm -hmm. So the, that diagnostic, that analysis, that approach, that model, you need to be trained. You need to be kept updated. You need to be regularly instructed and be informed of new techniques, new developments, uh, new outcomes of analysis of behaviors of pests. And what we strive within SIPA is to say, every stakeholder, st stakeholder in Europe that use or need services to be protected against pests, should only collaborate, use trained professionals. And that is exactly what the MOU is about. MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding, is a moral commitment to all stakeholders that say, if we need services to support us in avoiding pests within my environment, I will only use companies that they have trained professional, mm -hmm. that are uh, complying with European advice and guiding what is IPM, how do you perform IPM, which is the SEN standards. Um, and that's very much what we are striving for within SIPA, that we are asking all stakeholders to take their responsibility and only to operate with trained professionals which have been certified by external certifying bodies and will confirm, yes, this company or that stakeholder is operating following the IPM principles, is SEN certified following the European standard for pest control. Mm -hmm. A moral commitment. Very well put together. I could have not done it any way better. Uh, Alain, thank you so much. I think that was a very, very good highlight of what value SIPA and the MOU brings to literally everybody because everybody is in some way or form or area in contact with pests or might uh, become. Exactly. So thank you so yeah. much for your analysis and your feedback. And I really look forward to revisiting this talk in the next six to 12 months, Alain, stay safe and thank you. Me too, thank you, Daniel, for the opportunity. <laughs> Welcome.